Flora Batson was an international acclaimed concert singer of the 19th century. Her talent and prestige earned her the title Queen of Song. She was born on April 16, 1864 in Washington, D.C. to N.N. Batson and Mary A. Batson. Mary became a Civil War widow so she and Flora moved to Providence, Rhode Island in 1867. Flora was only three years old. Growing up, Batson sang in local choirs and starting in 1878, she sang for Stora College in Harpers Ferry, West Virginia. She was there for two years. Declining an offer to study music on a full scholarship at Stora, Batson continued her singing career under the management of social reformer Thomas Dutney. She sang at various temperance revivals, and one such performance in New York City's Masonic Temple in 1885 launched her professional career. To much critical acclaim, she sang Six Feet of Earth Makes Us All One Size for 90 consecutive nights and caught the attention of John G. Burgeon, the white manager of the All Black Burgeon Star Concert Company. She accepted his invitation into the company and by 1887, she had achieved national fame as its leading soprano. Batson married Burgeon on December 13, 1887, and their controversial interracial marriage made international tabloid headlines. Their union was mutually beneficial as he continued to manage her career, and she brought fame and critical acclaim to his company well into their marriage. After Burgeon's death in 1896, she toured with African-American basso Gerard Miller, whom she eventually married at the height of her career. She toured internationally and sang for many world leaders, including Pope Leo VIII, Queen Victoria of England, and Queen Lily Kalani of Hawaii. Early in her career, Batson became known as the double voice queen of song. In reference to her soprano baritone range, love not only for her impressive range, but for her sweet tonal quality and her compelling stage presence. Batson occasionally sang excerpts from operas. Her signature musical genre, however, was the ballad often singing the last rose of summer. She also sang the cows are in the corn and the ship of fire. Her concerts usually ended with enthusiastic standing ovations. And as a tribute to her title, Queen of Song, different cities often presented her with diamonds, tiaras, and other jewelry. As vaudeville comedy sketches came into popularity, unfortunately, Batson's skills as a concert soloist were in less demand. Later in her career, she sang primarily for charities and religious organizations, choosing philanthropy over profit-making performances. Her last concert was at the Bethel African Methodist Episcopal Church in Philadelphia on November 29, 1906. Flora Batson died suddenly, only two days later in Philadelphia on December 1, 1906. 
She was only 42 years old. I'll sing you a song of the world and its ways and the many strange people we meet. From the rich man who rolls in his millions of wealth to the poor struggling wretch in the street. Though a man may be poor and in tatters and rags, we know that we ought not despise. But think of the adage, remember my friend, that six feet of earth makes them all of one size.